Hello, fellow integration liaisons. This is Zach Allen with Moffat County and South Route School Districts. I am currently in a 1338 council meeting in South Route. It is difficult to be in several places at once, as I'm sure many of you can attest to. So I've created a virtual self to help me. That's me. I've been asked to share our work with Elevate Colorado in the context of a strategy that other integration liaisons can use to support their work. Screencasting. So what is screencasting? It's a way of recording what's on your computer screen and also the audio of what is being said at the same time. Think tutorials. So here are a couple of tools that you can use for creating screencasts. Um, Screencastomatic.com works on Macs or PCs and it's free. You just go to the website and it's actually a Java, uh, Java script that will run on your computer. Cam Studio, also free. Um, open Broadcaster software, also free, and on the QuickTime, uh, or I'm sorry, on Max, uh, QuickTime comes with uh, the Max and also does screencasting. What are the benefits of screencasting? Um, think lo location and time. Location. You're, you have a bunch of uh, trainings that you have to do and you have a couple of staff members at each building that can't make it. Um, rather than trying to do one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions or schedule an additional training, which you have no time for, um, you can go ahead and create a screencast uh, tutorial training. Um, also, many of you have uh, many buildings and districts. I have nine buildings and two districts to be across, and sometimes it's just plain difficult to get all the training that I need to have done across all those distances. Um, time. Uh, so think sustainability. Um, since you'll be recording it, it'll also be recorded, recorded for next year. If if we don't, if we're, uh, if, if as an integration liaison, um, I'm not going to be in the same position, or where it becomes unfunded, we still have the benefit of our thinking this year um, in terms of training for future years. School days, uh, contract days um, with for teachers, it can be very difficult to fit all of the what we need to do with our teachers in. Um, so this is another avenue for doing that. More benefits. Think so. One of the things that I like to do with um, even when I'm just one on one with a with a teacher and I'm training them, sometimes in, in live, I like to turn the screencasting on so that it records what's happening, so they they can be feel more comfortable with just trying to think about the understanding of what I'm telling them rather than writing down notes in a frantic way to record all the procedural steps. They can actually concentrate on understanding it, um, knowing that they can go back and watch the video later. Uh, it's also time effective. You can record it while you're doing a live training. So if you have um, several live trainings across different buildings, record one of them, and then all of the folks that weren't able to make it to one of those trainings can watch the video. A couple of things in terms of advice. Um, there's nothing like the real thing. Don't get over reliant on it. Remember that what we do as integration liaisons, the work that we are involved in is complicated and sensitive and requires us to build trust. Um, and trust is very difficult to do through a computer screen. So live meetings are always best, but understanding that uh, our work is, is as difficult as it is, sometimes it's just we just can't fit it all in. Um, so number two here, don't worry about it being polished. You'll notice that I've stumbled a couple of times. There's been a couple of times that I've wanted to hit the stop button on the recording uh, as I'm doing this. Uh, you just can't. You just don't have time to do that. If you keep doing that, you're going to end up recording it ten times, have ten takes, and it, it'll take you much too long. So go ahead and just be okay with um, having a few ums in there. Check your sound quality first. Uh, as I was recording this same video, I had to do it a couple of times to get it right because I was trying out a new headset. So make sure you have your sound quality before you go through a half hour long tutorial. Uh, make sure you do a little sound check first. So um, actually the work around this, what they asked me to present was Elevate Colorado. Um, and so I'm going to give you a little bit about what our plan is here in Moffat County and South Route with uh, respect to Elevate Colorado. We're going to do a I do, we do, you do, and then we do plan of action here, meaning the I do, um, both live and screencast tutorials. We do, where we collaboratively work um, centered on learning the tool, um, so we all get together in the same room live. I do some tutoring as needed after the I do part and they're trying to do it on their own um, but really focused on learning the tool the the Elevate Colorado tool not so much on trying to get that integrator agreement yet 
Then the you do independently will watch and rate an agreed upon video um, over the course of a week and the following week we'll come together at an admin meeting. And then finally, um, we do, where we will we'll collaboratively dialogue about the similarities and differences in not only the product, um, what we scored, but in the process, how we got, how we, what we were looking for, how we wrote our notes, etc. Uh, and then um, also chart those similarities and differences from the master score. So a couple more planning issues. Um, we've decided to go ahead and look at one video a month. The, we felt that within the context of everything else that we're doing, that that was reasonable. Um, we were going to have all principals, elementary and secondary, together uh, to review the same videos, even though one video may come from elementary and one video and the next may, may come from secondary. We felt that all principals could benefit uh, looking at those videos across all the levels. And last, um, we'll alternate those levels every other month. So takeaways from Elevate Colorado so far, um, we've, I found that the tool allows you to easily connect the evidence to the professional practices. Um, I've also liked that we're not just looking at video less, uh, videos um, of the lesson, but we're looking at lesson plans and learning materials that they are attached and you can um, easily connect those, tag those, if you will, to the professional practices as well. Uh, registration has been a frustration. However, CD has been really, really, really responsive in getting the issues resolved for us in a very timely manner. Um, so the last part of screencasting would be um, where to where to publish your video to that you create from the screencast. Um, I typically use YouTube in our district. We don't have that blocked by firewall, um, but I know in a lot of districts that is uh, blocked by firewall. So you per may perhaps need to look at other options like TeacherTube. Thank you, and I uh, appreciate your time. Thanks. Bye.